in a in an auto accident you are not at fault for the accident uh you have the elected to go through the other person's insurance um so we will see what happens you want to rent a car um so you call me up and say hey i want to rent a car um i take a look at the claim i take a look at your uh damage photos for your vehicle i determine that your car is drivable i say you're going to have to drive it until the repair shop is has the parts ordered they're ready to go um i don't want you to be be um you know keeping your car at the shop waiting for parts um and you know in a rental car that i'm paying for especially that your car's not drivable um let's say that uh, your vehicle's a total loss. I look at the uh, vehicle damage photos. I agree. Um, I will put you in a rental car. Um, I will send out an appraiser. Um, once I get a, once I get everything back in, uh, you know, generally I will give you seven days from the day that I make an offer. Uh, that's reasonable. Uh, that fits in with the guidelines and statutes of state. In most areas, um, it can happen pretty quickly. Um, I, I send an appraiser, they verify it's a total loss. Um, I send it to another company. They give me what's called a VVSI, um, which is your uh, actual cash value of the vehicle. Um, and then since you've been in a rental car, I don't owe any loss of use or um, rental car. Um, I notify you in seven days, the rental car will stop. I send you out a general release um, and then you can either sign it or not, but I've made the offer and that's where, um, that's where the seven day warning comes from for the vehicle. Um, or if I take a look at your vehicle, um, it's a total loss. Um, I'm completely in my rights to offer you a reasonable loss of use. I can say I will give you $60 a day for two weeks. Um, that's fair. Uh, you can use the money for Uber. You can use it for anything you want. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it is what it is. I can um, uh, go ahead and um, send you the money. Um, and then when I get the total loss for the vehicle, your general release will be for the um, actual cash value of the vehicle as well as the money that I have ordered to you. And then we'll just call it good. You'll sign it, I'll send out the rest of the money. Um, now let's say that your car is drivable. Um, I can either do one of two things. I can issue you a rental car, um, but you know, the, the, you know, it's so far out for repair shops. You know, we're talking months on end sometimes. Um, basically, if your car is drivable, uh, you know, you need to notify me when you have made an appointment for the for the shop. I will call them. I will make sure that the that the um, parts have been ordered. They have arrived. Everything's ready to go. Um, I will assign you a rental car for the actual repair hours. Um, I'll go over the formula in a different video. I have determined it takes five days for you to get your car fixed. I will give you two days for weekend and then I will expect the vehicle back. Um, at, or what I can do is I can say, listen, I'll give you loss of use for, uh, you know, 10 days at $60. Um, I will send, what I will do is I will do a general release for the first estimate. And then I will um, add in the reasonable loss of use. Once you sign that, I will send the first check to the shop in your name and the shop's name. I will send you directly the, the check for the reasonable loss of use. And then after that, if there's any supplements from the shop, I will pay the shop directly in their name only. Um, so that's what, um, that's the process for the rental car. Um, of course, mistakes are made. People stay in a rental car longer. Um, you know, um, from my observations, is that, you know, the, um, for self-insured companies, you know, because it's coming out of their pocket, they keep a very um, close eye on rental expenses, loss of use expenses. Um, you know, it's just something to be aware of. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoy this video.